animal out of some air dry clay. Uh, this animal is going to be for my diorama. Uh, we put this together in a previous video. Now I've got my habitat and I'm going to use the air dry clay to create a little animal that I know lives in this habitat. So this is just some pointers, some ideas, uh, some ways to think about this material in particular, this air dry clay. Um, it's kind of, it doesn't stick together very well when you pull it apart. So I'm going to try to make my coyote out of a single chunk of clay, just kind of pulling pieces out as I go, leaving them kind of big at first. I can always reduce it after I get going. Um, I find air dry clay is hard to get to stick back together. So if I make my legs separate or the tail separate, um, they're just, it, it becomes pretty fragile even after it's dry. Uh, those are just weak points because uh, they're not truly connected to anything the way we can um, work with clay. And again, this is air dry clay. So when I'm done here, I'll let this sit for a day or two and it'll be ready to paint. So here I'm just kind of pinching out some ears. And again, I want to leave that. I don't want to pinch all the way. I want to leave some material there so it has some stability but I pinched them out from the bulk of the top of the shape here so it's still attached it's still attached where it came from um, one way that you can attach little details is if you use a little bit of water and I'll demonstrate that later here when I talk about smoothing out some of the cracks so don't worry about cracks right now don't try to smooth it out. Just try to get that, that shape. Again, I'm pinching from the bigger areas and pulling it down to make these legs here. You can kind of see the shape. It's starting to take shape. So I want four legs. So again, I'm just going to try with my big fingers. You guys have little fingers, so you can get in there easier. But I'm still able to pull this material, pinch it, keep it intact with the, with the body, and just kind of shape it. Keep it really simple. Once you kind of get the basic shape of what you really, really want, then you can start to just kind of push, I like to push things back together, push the legs in, push the tail in. Kind of round things off with my thumb. If I see some areas where there's way more than I know I need, um, you can remove that if you want to. Again, I'm just kind of pressing the whole body together looks good. Now I do know that I have some excess in the tail area here so I'm just going to pinch a little bit at a time and get rid of that and then just kind of press it back in, press it back together. Again if you're attaching a tail or some legs try attaching it using some water first to just touch the parts that are going to connect. So the top of the leg to the body or the top of the tail to the body, um, that will help it to stick. But if you can make it out of one solid shape, then that air dry clay is never really leaving its original place. You're just shaping it and it will hold together a little bit better. So I'm just going to do some finishing touches here. You can do whatever you want. Get as detailed as you want. And once you get all done with this, then we'll talk about these uh, cracks that we all see. Um, I could start by using like a pencil maybe a spoon, some other 
object to kind of just smooth some areas out. Here I'm just rolling the pencil over the form, over the animal. And I'm, I'm pressing that air dry clay back into itself. Especially in these areas where I think it might be kind of weak once it dries, like the legs. This leaves kind of an interesting texture too that you could leave if you want to. All right, so again, we'll, um, we will address these cracks now and how I might use just some water to smooth those areas out. I'm gonna, it's really crumbly right here, so I'm just going to push it back together a little bit. There, okay. So even after smoothing it out with my hand, I've got these cracks like we were talking about. Um, just get a little cup of water and just put a little bit on your finger. Don't, don't have to dip your whole finger. Get the excess off. You really don't want a lot of water. Um, sometimes in class, I'll see these things dripping and that's fine, um, but it's not necessary little bit I'll probably won't even dip my finger again because I can feel it now kind of all over the surface where I've touched it and what's happening is this air dry clay is sucking in the moisture from the water and it will stay a little more um, soft it'll get softer and forms a little bit of a little liquidy paste on the surface too that you can use to fill in uh, where it's cracked. And when you're done, you can paint this or you could use watercolor. Uh, you could probably use a marker. Um, experiment and see what you can come up with. You'll have to uh, leave this sit for a day or so. Um, you can kind of tell a little bit if it's if it feels cool to the touch. It might need a little bit more time to dry and then you can go for it okay there is my air dry clay coyote all right you guys have fun i hope you enjoy this process and i can't wait to see what you guys come up with